Hey guys, Jake here from No Man in the Middle, and on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about what works and what doesn't this year in social media marketing. Stay tuned. This year has certainly been a wild one so far, and we're not even halfway through it. The coronavirus pandemic and its resulting economic and entrepreneurial stress has got a lot of people wondering if social media marketing is still worth it. And I'm here to say, absolutely yes. Businesses still need to operate and make money, and they need a committed customer base to do that. Social media marketers are still the go-to people to help make that happen, and I'm here to share some information on what trends are going to help you reach your customers and connect with them. Number one, video, video, video. It's no secret that video is the top social media marketing trend this year. From the explosion of vertical video to the embracing of vlogging as a prime content format, video is where it's at. Figuring out where your customers consume video and starting to draft a strategy to meet them is the first thing you should do. Primarily interested in younger millennials and Gen Z? Get on TikTok and Instagram stories. Have an older clientele? Start posting videos on Facebook. And if you're into long format videos chock full of helpful information, be sure you're right here on YouTube. Number two, humanizing your brand. If you've seen video ads from Facebook recently, you may have noticed something interesting. Facebook's ads feature user-generated content almost exclusively and don't cover things you'd normally expect to find from a tech company, like new features or glossy interfaces. Facebook and other tech companies are leaning into the more human side of what they do, and it's paying off. Current and potential customers are looking for connections more than ever before, and businesses are working to bring that to them. By showing off the human side of your business, you're helping to craft a connection with your customer base that will persevere through thick and thin. Number three, podcasts. It ain't for your hipster brother anymore. The explosion in podcasting over the last two years has been unprecedented, and it's a trend that will keep on paying dividends for the months and years to come. By creating and putting out a podcast, brands and influencers can work to build brand loyalty, cultivate authority status in their respective fields, and provide easy-to-digest evergreen content that can be consumed even when their eyes are away from their screens. Number four, social customer service. Brands are increasingly recognizing that their customers aren't willing to send emails all that much anymore. In fact, they're even less inclined to use the phone as well, which leaves companies with a dilemma. How can we make sure that our customers can reach us whenever they need to? Enter social customer service. Businesses large and small are now embracing social media networks as ready-made customer support platforms, able to connect and assist customers wherever they are. From Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp to Twitter DMs and Instagram comments, social customer support helps brands to assist users wherever they may be. And number five, TikTok. Sorta. Of. I know, I know, it's still sorta of new and seems to only be for Gen Z and younger millennials, but hear me out. If you're a brand, personality, influencer, or entrepreneur, TikTok is the wild west of social media platforms. Meaning that we're still trying to get a handle on it, but there could be gold in these virtual hills. Short form video is being devoured on the daily and TikTok's algorithm is showing some promise as a really intuitive way to deliver relevant videos to the relevant audience. So tread lightly, but still use it. And even try participating in a dance trend or two. I won't judge you. Look, I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what trend interested you the most down in the comments. See ya.